Hi everyone! Okay, so today's gonna be a little bit of a different tutorial. You can see that we're actually starting on Facebook and this is gonna be my first tutorial that's actually focused on Octane Render and virtual reality in general and you know with regards to this channel I like to keep the content diverse and I don't like to focus on just one particular program because I am the type of person that enjoys experimenting with different uh, methods for creating uh, content. So today's gonna be focused on Octane Render and as you can see, uh, Facebook actually added this feature where we can upload panoramic images and it turns it into these 360 degree uh, images. And as you can see, I created the scene in 3D, completely in Cinema 4D and Octane Render. And uh, I basically have converted it to a 360 degree panoramic image. And you can see I've got these beautiful Lamborghini Huracans over here. and this is really immersive and it works even with a uh, with virtual reality headset so if you've got a Oculus Rift uh, I think HTC Vive and the Google Cardboard uh, it makes this entire experience really immersive since this is a 360 degree panoramic image so anyway I'll be showing you guys how to set this up and how we can uh, convert it to a particular format that Facebook recognizes and then how we can upload this and get it working alright guys so without further ado Let's get started. Alright guys, so as I said, we'll need a panoramic image in order for this feature to work on Facebook. So I'm using Cinema 4D and the Octane Render plugin. And the reason why I'm using Octane Render is because when you create an Octane camera, uh, we can basically change the camera type to panoramic. And that's basically all that you guys need to do. So it will usually be on either thin lens or what other setting you have activated but it's usually on thin lens that's the default I just want to change that to panoramic and you'll see that in the camera we now have this panoramic tab and if we click on that tab you'll see that the camera mode is set to spherical and 360 degrees and that's exactly what we want so if I bring up the live viewer you'll see this is my standard scene but if I actually activate that camera so let's activate that camera go back to live view you'll see that uh, that octane camera basically converts our 3d scene to a panoramic image and this is perfect this is exactly what we want in order for the feature to work on Facebook so that's a really really neat feature that comes built in with octane render uh, there's uh, not much that you have to do uh, but there's just one thing that I want to mention to you guys over here you'll see that uh, the actual placement of your objects using the panoramic camera can get a little bit tricky because like I said if I go out of this camera let me just change the width a little bit here if I go out of this camera and we look at the scene you can see that these cars have been uh, basically rotated and placed in a very specific location in order uh, for them to be in the location that I really want them to be in the panoramic image so just keep that in mind uh, it can be a little bit uh, disorientating at times or just a little bit tricky to find placement for your cars but it just involves a lot of trial and error so move your cars around and get them into a position that you're happy with uh, and then yeah like I said this is the position that I wanted my cars in for the panoramic image so yeah just keep that in mind guys the placement of objects can get a little bit tricky when you're working with this panoramic image that shouldn't be too much of a problem all right so then from there I just basically I put my samples on something I wouldn't say fairly high but 8000 was that was fine for me because it got rid of uh, most of the noise in the image and then from there I just went to file and I saved this as a PNG 16 image uh, but I wouldn't really recommend saving it from here what I would do instead is probably the most important thing uh, you want to go to render you want to go to edit render settings and under your output uh, th this is basically the secret and I, I did a lot of research and I saw guys posting this on the Octane Facebook group and this was the resolution that's needed in order for this image to work on Facebook so you want to make sure that your width is 2500 pixels and your height is 1250 so once you've got these settings in here, 2500 by 1250, you can go ahead, render out that image. 
uh, we'll save it out and then we'll take it to Facebook and I'll show you how we can convert that image into a format that uh, Facebook recognizes in order for the panoramic 3D scene to work on Facebook. Alright, so let's move on to the next part. Okay, so once you've got your image saved out, you can see I've saved out my image here as 2500 by 1250. We want to go to the following website, it's called thezypher.net. And basically this website is going to allow us to convert our .jpg or whatever format you have it in currently. It will be converting it into a format that Facebook recognizes in order for the panoramic 360 degree image to work. Uh, and basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be injecting metadata into our image. And if you guys want a little bit more information on uh, what metadata is and how this process actually works, uh, you can read the description of this image and I've basically supplied a link to this exact uh, web page so you guys can check this out if you want some more in-depth information into how this entire uh, process works. Uh, but for now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the Zypher and you can see over here it says drop files here to upload so I'm going to do exactly that. So I'll drop my file over here, let that upload. And while it's uploading, I'm just going to go back to this website where it ex uh, just explains the process of injecting metadata. And this is the really important part of here. You can see that we actually go into change our make uh, and camera model to Rico and uh, Rico the uh, Theta S. Now, I'm really, I'm not that good at the pronunciation of some of these words, but anyway, this is the most important part that you need to take notice of over here. So let's go back to the Zypher. My image should be uploaded. Alright, so my image is uploaded, panoramic image, and you can see over here we've got the image to click on ezyph.me. So I'm going to click on that, and we'll be presented with this page. So basically what we need to do over here, you don't need to pay attention to anything else on this page except for, like I said, we need to change our make and model. So on this page you can see over here we need to change it to Rico and Rico Th Theta S. So just type that in. Rico and Rico Theta Theta S. Alright, so once you've got that typed in, you just want to scroll down and click on Go Exifin. And the process is really quick, so if I scroll back up, you can see over here it says the data of our file has been successfully modified, and now we can go ahead and close the editor. And then from there, you just want to go ahead and re download the new image with the metadata that's been injected into it. So just download that image. Uh, just bring this back to this page. And then from there, uh, that's basically the process, guys. We've converted our panoramic image with the resolution 2500 by 1250. And we've converted that uh, .jpg or whatever format you saved it as. Uh, into a format that Facebook will recognize and we injected some metadata into that image. So if you go back on Facebook now uh, and you upload, we'll just go here, photo, upload the photo. So wherever your photo is, just upload that and it should work. It should definitely work from there. And once you click on post, uh, you'll see a little 360 degree icon over here that's basically telling you that that image can be viewed as a 360 degree uh, panoramic image. So yeah guys that's uh, that's how you convert your 3D scenes into fully immersive 360 degree images. Right guys I hope you learned something useful from this tutorial. Uh, if you have got a VR headset uh, I guess you can have some fun and you know this this process gets really immersive uh, but I hope you've learned something useful from this. And thank you for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to message me on Facebook or via email, uh, which is pixelbrightideas at gmail.com to ask me any questions. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.